Hello guys and welcome to another episode. Uh, this time, yet again, another 151 product. But this one should be hopefully a little more exciting as we have the massive Ultra Premium Collection Box. Alright, so this thing looks beautiful on the outside. Let's hope we get some good stuff. In the back, we will get all of our contents here, including a metal, and I do say metal, metallic Mew gold card here because the there is the same exact card in the set, um, and it is a secret rare, which we pulled, by the way, in one of our ETBs. Then we get the two exclusive promos in Mew, or rather Mew and Mew 2, all right? So otherwise, I will zoom in on that so you can read the rest there. And we will get right into this. Wow, this plastic just, uh, that was, uh... That plastic really put up a good fight there. There we go. That's so much better. That was uh, really resistant there, that plastic. Okay. So it looks like this slides out like this. Yes, it does. There's our beautiful box. This box actually, oh well, yeah, I don't like this. This feels like a cheaper quality than the uh, Charizard UPC, but oh, maybe it's okay. Oh, 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 hold on. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, it does feel a little cheaper because the Charizard one and the Zamazen and Zashi one combined were more like they had a little magnet here in the front. Um, but the presentation here is really nice. So here we go. Check that out. First, you got your three promos up there, including the metal card. Then you have uh, your packs on each side. Nicely divided there. Followed by a coin, the condition markers, the dice, a deck box. All right. So bear with me while I try to fix the camera. Okay. So, uh, let me... This lifts up like a little folder. Cool. We got the Pokeball symbol back there. All right. So, let me slide up this bad boy right there. Our Mew promo. Same attacks as the uh, gold one. Really cool. Oh, there's a code card. Oh, that's right, for the UPC itself. Um, I'll be honest, I'll probably keep that one. There is the awesome YouTube overlook in the city. Really cool there. Okay. And finally, our... I don't know how to get this out. How do I get the metal card out? Does it come to the... Oh, okay, got it. Okay, and finally, our metal card. The, the Gold Mew metal card. Nice and heavy. Beautiful metallic backing. Very cool. Gotta sleeve these up, for sure. And I will see with the metal card as well. Because I do plan on getting it graded. So let's take out the promos out of the uh, these little plastic uh, wraps. Sorry, that took a little while longer than I thought it would. So I was like, you know what? Let's just fast forward that part. So on with the rest of the box opening. This is so cool. I mean, really, the presentation is really something. So you have your awesome deck box there, which I will most likely 
resell in the box. You have your condition markers. Okay, you got the beautiful Mew coin there. Really awesome. You have your dice. And I do think that I will keep them in there as well. Okay, then I will take out our packs. And I will leave the rest of it. There we go. Okay. And last but not least, by the way, oh, there we go, our playmats, which most likely is Mew as well. Yes, it is. All right, we will uh, definitely unroll this um, and replace one of our current playmats. But for now, we'll keep it up there. Okay, that's going to go over here for now while we sort this out. Okay, finally, apologize. So, let's get right in it. And I do pray we get something from this because there's enough packs here. This is uh, more than the Elite Trainer box, so hopefully we get a little something, something here. Okay. All right, Growlithe, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Snorlax, Sandslash, Nidorino. Then we have Primeape. Kadabra and Gengar. Okay. All right. Dratini, Growlithe. Geodude, Jigglypuff, Nidorino, oops, Executor, Graveler, followed by Magnemite, Growlithe, and Omastar. Diglett, Drowsy, Bulbasaur, Jotini, Protective Goggles, Arcanine, Tentacruel, followed by Haunter, Machoke, and Arbok EX. There's our first hit. Just coming at you with his Venom. Pretty cool. Go ahead and sleeve that up. And I'll put it in the back here with our promos. Now, normally I do say that the promos, in my opinion, don't count as hits, but I will say Mewtwo at least counts. Well, really, both of these count, only because they are unique to the box, and it's unique art, unique art, art work, excuse me, I'm tripping over my words, and of course, they're full arts, so I will say in this particular case, I, I would make an exception to my rule, um... Since those two you can only get via this box. All right. Abra, Diglett, Bulbasaur, Drowsy, Giovanni's Charisma, Rhydon, Rigid Band, Pikachu, Drowsy, and Venusaur EX Full Art. Not the alternate art, but the Full Arts. Card 182. All right, speaking of which, Arbok is card number 24. Put that right over there. I just realized I almost knocked my device down. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. So, ironically enough, we do have the Full Arts Blastoise and now the Full Arts Venusaur. So, if we get the Full Art Charizard, at least we will complete that grouping, that trio. Uh, but of course, we're after the alternate arts. I will never deny that. As we get a holographic fighting energy with one swirl right above the symbol there. All right. And put that over there. Slowpoke. Magmar. Horsey. Abra. Executor. Rigid Band. Graveler. Poliwhirl. 
Golbat, and Jolteon. Very, very cool. Okay. Oh no, I knocked some cards down. I will fix that later. Okay. Next pack. We have Helix Fossil, Slowpoke, Magmar, Horsey, Charmeleon, Parasect, Cloyster, Caterpie, Mankey, and Vaporeon. Okay. So two hits thus far. I am confident we're gonna get I'm gonna say two more. At least. Alright, Pikachu, Farfetched, Shelder, Helix Fossil, Kingler, Energy Sticker, Rhydon, Mudchamp, Gloom, and Marowak. Dark energy with one, two, three swirls. Awesome. That's going in the binder for sure. Pikachu, Far Fetched, Shelter, Lapras, Cycling Road, Scyther, Ponyta, Seal, and Electrode. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Beautiful psychic energy with one, two, three swirls, four mini swirl there. Very nice. Adding that as well. Star you, Charmander, Spiro, Bell Sprouts, Arcanine, Kingler, Snorlax, Tangela. Oh, the beautiful full art or alternate art, however you want to say it, Machoke. Beautiful card, card number 177. Awesome. And a star me. Great work. Definitely got to save this up and add it to our list. Okay. All right. Very well. Alright, Charmander, Spiro, Bellsprout, Magikarp, Golduck, Pinsir, Bill's Transfer, Magikarp, Graveler, and Weezing. I thought that was a hit at that last card, I'm not going to lie. Got excited there. Alright. Okay, Magikarp, Oddish, Mankey, Meowth, Sandslash, Haunter, Golduck, Pidgeot, Grimer, and Kabutops. Well, so far we're on track to get one more hit again in my confidence. I did say two more. We got the one with Machoke. Let's see if we do score another one. And then I'll be happy. I will live with it. There go. Beautiful holographic water energy with one swirl. Mankey, Oddish, Meowth, Execute, Golbat, Leftovers, Persian, Machop, Ditto, and Nidoking. King. All right. 
I would be lying if I said I wasn't getting nervous now that we only have four packs left and I'm still waiting for that one hit that I was so confident about. <laughs> so let's see if we get it. All right. Okie dokie. So let's see what we get. Execute. Clefairy. Machop. Porygon. Pinsir. Bills Transfer. Golbat. Muck. Magneton. And Blastoise EX. There it is. Hit number four. Card number nine. Or rather, Pokédex entry number nine is what I should be saying since they did number them based on their Pokédex entry number. So I love that. Got a little more sleeves. Love it. I'll put them on this side, actually. Okay. Clefairy, Machop, <clears throat> Porygon, Electabuzz, Muck, Daisy's Help, Venomoth, Tentacool, Meowth, and Vileplume. We are down to two. Do you think we can get one more hit? I would certainly hope so, but let's see. I don't want to get too excited. Let's see what we can get. Electabuzz, Rhyhorn, Tangela, Coughing, Leftovers, Persian, Muck, Rhydon. Hey, there it is. Wow, I did not think we would get that lucky. Card number 199, it is the alternate art Charizard, and we still got a card behind it. Okay, Machamp, but wow, we got the card. I cannot believe it. I really did not think I'd pull this in the UPC or really any box, because my luck is usually not the greatest, but man, I am not going to complain at all. Awesome, awesome. There it is. The card, the chase card. That was amazing. And now, our last pack. Now, I'm definitely happy. Because that one card, especially with the current market value, has paid for the entire box. By, by himself. That means everything else here at the, on the table currently is now officially profit. Love it. All right. By the way, a PSA 10 Charizard of that artwork, the alternate art, already sold for $750. So that's pretty amazing. Krabby and Aerodactyl round out the last pack. That's actually a cool Aerodactyl artwork. You know, let's take a closer look at that. I kind of like that picture. Very prehistoric looking. Definitely like it. All right, so that was beautiful. What a way to round out an episode. So to recap our hits, we're going to start with Arbok EX, card number 24. All right, we have Blastoise EX, card number 9. We have our Machoke alternate or full arts, card number 177. We have Venusaur EX Full Arts, card number 182. And last but certainly not least, the Alternate Arts Chase Card Charizard, card number 199. Amazing, simply amazing. And we'll just recap the promos again. We have our Metallic Gold Mew because the actual secret rare one is in the set and we pulled that as well. Followed by the Mewtwo overlooking the city. I love that artwork. I cannot deny that. And the Mew flying over the little town. Also an awesome card. And I heard that it was the chase card in the Japanese version of 151. 
Well, what an amazing episode. I I mean, we really topped it off there with the Charizard. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.